Tell me if you've ever run into a situation like the one I'm about to describe. You go out and you shoot. Let's say you're shooting a landscape in lower light. You don't have filters. You're trying to expose for the foreground so that you get bright enough foreground, but you don't want to blow out the sky. Without filters, it's kind of hard to do. So you're lifting the exposure some, but not too much. But regardless, you end up with a photo that may look like this one here. And so this is exactly what happened to me. I'm trying to lift the exposure to make sure that I can see the foreground, but in doing so, I'm getting a really big, bright, blown out spot in the sky. That would, of course, be this section. If you look at the histogram, you can see it's running way high and way off to the right. Now, there's a J key. Uh, well, there's a J key on every keyboard, but if you hit the J key on your keyboard, you can see the blown out spots. Those are shown in red. And so you're probably thinking, well, easy, Jim, just come in, go to develop raw and pull the highlights down negative 100. And I did that. And as you can see, didn't get them all. So I still have blown out highlights. Well, maybe you're thinking, OK, well, then after that, go to super contrast, because I talk about this in videos all the time and go play with the super contrast in the highlight section until you can control that as well. Well, I'm going to go to 100 and 100 and you'll still see while well, the rest of the photo looks terrible and the highlights still are not perfectly under control, I still have some blown out spots. And so that is a challenge sometimes where you've got a blown out sky and you can't recover it. However, there's one little secret, maybe not so secret trick that I like to use for situations like this. And it works pretty much every time. It may depend on the photo, but I use this trick a lot. And let me show you what it is. I'm going to go back to the catalog. I have this same raw file and I'm going to drop it into HDR Merge here in Luminar Neo. Now, HDR Merge is an extension, but if you have a subscription and a Creative Journey Pass, you should have this uh, extension and it's a single exposure. No, I'm not merging brackets to get a full true HDR, but a single exposure HDR works so, so well to really control those highlights. And here's a great example of what I'm talking about. Now, um, I need to do some work on this photo and I'm going to do a little bit in this video, but I want to point out if I hit the J key, you're going to see the amount of red in the sky is incredibly reduced because dropping that single exposure into HDR merge is going through the tone mapping algorithm and it remaps tonal values and it really helps control the light. And now I can come in and just a tiny bit of highlights reduction and I've gotten rid of those blown out sections. So I can hit the J key, hide that. And then, you know, let's say I want to go ahead and go about a regular edit. I can come in here and do the kind of things I like to do to a photo to kind of have an impact and create the look that I want without worrying about the fact that I just blew out and when I took the photo that I blew out the highlights and they were not recoverable. I can now come in and use the tools that I like to use. So super contrast, I'll come in and play a little bit with this and you can see the histogram. My highlights are looking beautiful. There is no issue there. I'm going to play a little bit with the shadows and the uh, midtones balance. Let's say I do something like that. Maybe I want to do a little toning to add a little bit of warmth into that sky. Maybe I'll go into landscape, get a little golden hour, pop that on there as well. Maybe I don't want that on the grass. So I'm just going to grab a brush and erase and I'm going to erase that golden hour from the grass and these little trees right in there because I don't want to overdo that and I don't want it around in here either. I recommend taking your time when you're masking and getting it right. I'm kind of flying through it because this is kind of an example and not really a full edit. But in just a couple of minutes, uh, even though I was unable to do that with the raw file, with the tone mapped file, I have total control over the light in my photos. And now I got a photo that I think looks way better. If you look at the before and the after, I've come a long way. Now there's a spot in the sky. I need to probably do some other things. That's not really the point of the video. The point of the video, of course, is if you have a problem image with some problem lighting, especially blown out highlights, drop it into HDR Merge as a single exposure and let it run through that tone mapping and then come in and you'll have much better control over the highlights and probably even the shadows in that image. And you can really quickly have a huge impact on your photo, but more importantly, you can get back control over the light that you didn't have control over when you took it, maybe because of lack of filters or whatever. So that's just kind of a quick tip for you. It's a great way to have an impactful photo, control the light, and get things done that you thought you couldn't do otherwise. Hope it helps, my friends. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. Until next time, adios.